Here is an interesting question to find percent from data. In a survey of 200 students lunch, 35 students bought soup, 60 students bought sandwich, 10 students bought both soup and sandwich. What percent of students bought neither soup nor a sandwich? Five choices are given for you. 42.5%, 52.5%, 57.5%, or none of the above. So I'll request you to pause the video, copy the question, try to solve and make a selection, and then see into my suggestion. Here is how I will solve it. Since it is a percent problem, we should remember that we have to divide by total number of students. So that is something very common. So we'll get total number of students in the denominator. So let me write that first. So we have 200, right? What do we need to find? What percent of students bought neither soup nor a sandwich? So that is what we need to find. So let's first find how many of 200 bought sandwich or soup. So it is given that 35 students bought soups. So we have 35 students for soup. And we have 60 students who bought sandwich. So 60 students for sandwich. Okay. And 10 students bought both soup and sandwich. That means out of these, 10 are common, right? 10 bought both soup and sandwich. That means 10 is counted twice. Okay, so let's add these two. When we add them, what do we get? 5, 6 plus 3 is 9. Now since 10 students bought both, they are common, right? So we'll take away 10 because we are counting 10 in soup also and we are counting 10 for sandwich also. We should count them only once. So we are taking them away. So we're left with 85. So 85 students bought sandwich or soup or the combination, right? Now the question is, what percent of students bought neither? So out of 200, 85 bought these combinations. Others didn't buy. So others will be how much? 200 minus 85. And when we say percent, times by 100. So that should give us the answer, right? So let's use the calculator. So we have 200 minus 85, which is equal to 115, divided by 200 times 100 means divide by 2. So that gives us 57.5 percent, right? So we do have a choice here, which is 57.5. This is one way of doing it. Another way to do this type of question is to make a Venn diagram, right? Let's, let's make a Venn diagram. That means one circle representing students who bought soup. The other circle representing students who bought sandwich, correct? So let's write down. So this is for soup and that one is for sandwich. Now how many bought soup? Well, we should start with common elements. 10 students bought both. So we'll put 10 here, right? Now let's get back to 35 students bought soup. So we already have 10. That means 25 took only soup. 10 had both. How about sandwich? 60 students bought sandwich. So in this circle, we should get 60. 10 are common. So remaining are 50. So that is the distribution. So from Venn diagram, this is the Venn diagram, right? So let me just complete this diagram. So this is whole. So we have total of 200, right? So 200 is total minus, so whatever is the number which is not involved in buying soup or sandwich comes here. So this is 50 plus 10, 60. 60 plus 25 is 85. So 200 minus 85 are the students who did not buy anything. So we get the same thing. Do you see that? But it's a good representation of the data. And that is what we call Venn diagram. So that's kind of an introduction for Venn diagram. So Venn diagram gives us a very clear picture in such cases and helps us to solve the questions faster and 
you know efficiently if this were had been more complicated i mean one more choice we would have made one more circle right so we'll take that question in the next video but i hope you understand how to use venn diagrams to answer these questions anyway the answer is same which is 57.5 percent right so so 200 minus 85 is 115 so 115 is the students who didn't buy anything and when you convert them to percent 115 divided by 200 times 100 gives you 57.5 percent i hope you appreciate both the methods thank you